part of what is happening uh, in, uh, in West Africa, Palisa, as you can see, is a rebellion by young officers against French neocolonialism. It's not only military coups to remove uh, some elected president, but these young soldiers are saying, our politics since independence has respected this junior relationship with France. That must end. So you see the big confrontation between these countries and France. It has to do with ending, the, like the agreements I've talked about. That you'd have a French general based in Cote d'Ivoire who has actually the power to intervene in Cote d'Ivoire as he liked. So it's, it's an anti-neocolonial rebellion. It has got this element, you are quite correct, of uh, removing elected presidents. How does the continent deal with that? Well, you know the OAU has a standard policy, as you, as you mentioned, uh, against illegal changes of government. So the military governments don't get recognized. But we have a particular consequence now. We are Mali, Niger, Burkina Faso, designed that they are walking out of ECOWAS. Now that can't be a positive development. What is to be done? It's not a question that we can answer here. But I think, again, I'm trying to say, it's necessary for us to understand the objective reality. What actually is happening? It's not just young soldiers who are hungry for power and therefore remove this elected president, no. That's why they talk about Thomas Sankara. Sankara took power by coup d'etat. He was a soldier. But Sankara understood this particular issue, the need to destroy, destroy and defeat neocolonialism. And that's what these young soldiers are saying. What do we do with them? What does Africa do with them? I think Africa is an, an, a challenge, a problem, answering that issue, answering that question. 